high temperature superconductors at the end of this lesson you will be able to explain the principle and characteristics of high temperature superconductors explain the applications of high temperature superconductors chips are basically big sized steel hulls thus they have the tendency to disturb the earth's magnetic field they develop a magnetic field around them this field when detected by the mirai mines gets detonated navies around the world are searching for a solution to make the ships undetectable by these mines usually the ship is decoded using electric cables that form around the hull since it creates a counter magnetic field after the invention of high temperature superconductors that is hdc or hdx the electric cables were replaced with hdc cables reducing the weight of the ship and increasing the efficiency of the gossing the hdc cables are not only used in military purposes but also used for energy storage medicine high end computing instrumentation research and the list goes on depending upon transition temperature the superconductors are classified as high temperature superconductors and low temperature superconductors if the transition temperature is high that is greater than 30 kelvin in a superconductor then those superconductors are known as high temperature superconductors if the transition temperature is low that is below 30 kelvin in a superconductor then those superconductors are known as low temperature superconductors the 30 kelvin is minus 243.15 degrees celsius this temperature is hard to maintain while temperatures above this can be maintained using cryogenic techniques thus high temperature superconductors are preferred because of this property the most important characteristic feature of high temperature superconductors is that the transition temperatures are high these types of superconductors have a modified perovskite crystal structure the high temperature superconductors are made up of oxides of copper in combination with other elements these semiconductors are reactive brittle and cannot be easily modified liquid nitrogen is used instead of liquid helium for high tc superconductors among various theories that tried to explain hdc one explanation is as follows there are holes of positive ions present in the superconductors the current thus passed distorts the lattice causing the neighboring electron to occupy the hole thereby producing an extra hole current which is known as the supercurrent this type of superconductor is known as p type superconductor few common examples of hdc are listed here and let us discuss the structure of hdcs using one of these examples in 1986 muller and bednarz discovered superconductivity in ceramics now let us discuss the preparation of ceramic superconductors let us consider the example of yba2 cu3o9 minus x which is prepared from the compacted powder mixture of yttrium oxide barium carbonate and cupric oxide in the correct proportion heating them to a temperature between 900 degrees celsius and 1100 degrees celsius decomposes baco3 to bao and co2 this is followed by another annealing treatment at 800 degrees celsius in a temperature of oxygen to produce yba2 cu3o9 minus x 
the prepared oxide of YBA2CU3O9-X is related to the cubic perovskite structure. In this structure, a three-body centered cubic unit cells are stacked one above another. Copper atom at the body corners is given as 8 into 1 divided by 8 plus 8 into 1 divided by 4 in turn is equal to 2 plus 1 which is equal to 3. Barium atom at two body centers is equal to 2 into 1 is equal to 2. Yttrium atom at one body center is equal to 1 into 1 is equal to 1. Oxygen at midpoints of edges is equal to 8 into 1 divided by 2 plus 20 into 1 divided by 4 that is equal to 4 plus 5 equal to 9. Two oxygen sites in every unit cell are empty. In this lesson, we have learnt about the principle and characteristics of high temperature superconductors, the applications of high temperature superconductors,